Hi everybody, here's Christian from the Teamwork of Cast. Wow, hello from the Teamwork of Cast. I am Putty from Teamwork Cast. Mm, that's a very similar name. Maybe we're related. This is Netrunner Teamwork Cast. Uh, this is the 2nd of May in Highlander Games in Dortmund. This is the regional uh, Neon Seife version West. And we're playing in 2014 because this is Andromeda versus Ne. It is indeed Andromeda vs. Ne. This is a game. Uh, this is the fourth game that we recorded. I'm not exactly sure what number it is. Nobody looks at those graphs anyway. <laughs> you know, we are in the loser bracket or in the f honey badger bracket, I guess is the name that we now invented for this. I, this, this is the, I'm pursuing this name uh, relentlessly. I am fine with that. Right. This, this, uh, this is the lower bracket semi semi-finals. And we have on the left, we have Frederick playing the Andromeda starting with nine cards. On the right, we have our good old friend <laughs> FFOX. Playing oh, the, yeah. the Final Fantasy operating system has returned. Indeed, experience not system. Uh, experience, experience, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, anyways, yes, and he's of course using this rare mat from the Kate McCaffrey thing. Nice. World Champions 2012. Man. Remember Kate McCaffrey? Yeah. yeah. Dragon Riders yeah. of Pern. Oh wait, it's a different McCaffrey. A different McCaffrey. Uh, the Neo set is the Valley here. And uh, this is going to be a very exciting matchup. Two very, very high-profile players. Not, not like the the games that we saw with me previously. Oh come on! Are you this fishing for compliments? You fishing for compliments? I'm, I'm, I'm I, I know exactly my limits, and I have reached my limits. I was happy with my result on this. Christian, tournament. you push it to the limit every day. <laughs> No, 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 no. Anyways, we see an install in front of the HQs, and then before that, he uh, we saw FFOX installing something in the remote server. And now the last is going to be a click, leaving the uh, R&Ds way open. Um, I don't think the Andromeda will do some evil um, HQ uh, R&D attack anyway. It's uncommon for Andromeda to have Maker's Eye these days or indexings. And now, Frederick is or Kefalo Pode uh, is. Uh, we're gonna call him Frederick. It's easier to spell. You can uh, call him he's, cephalopod. Yeah, it's cephalopod. It's German for cephalopod, which is, I guess, is a it's a turtle, right? Uh, cephalopods are squids. Are they? They are mollusks. All yes. right. Uh, so yeah, we see him uh, making the decision which of the nine cards he wants to play the, on the first turn. We have to remind uh, newcomers here, like um, there is like always this problem with Andromeda. You start with nine cards, and uh, you only have four clicks. So you have to each click has to play a card on, uh, unless you want to discard stuff. Yeah. So he starts out with a short gamble, which is really nice. You're, you're maximizing the possibility of a fantastic opening hand, which mm. is. Is it is highly alluring in a game that has RNG problems on occasion. Definitely, and of course, if especially if you are if you're having like a, a deck that requires a lot of setup, uh, it's going to be so much easier for you to get all those cards out. We see uh, the dirty laundry on RNG. So there's nothing important, but he gets yet even more money. We assume that he doesn't have a Desperado on hand, which is, I think, very painful for mm -hmm. uh, the Andromeda. He, they really want the Desperados. Oh, I see an emergency shutdown. You're going to actually look at that um, that card, just in case FOX tries a cheeky score in the first turn. Something that you can sometimes pull off against Andromeda. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is a daily business show, and Frederick thinks about uh, trashing this. This will um, get him down a bit, but I think that one has to go. A near Earth hub has no cares about Andromeda. And the last one is going to be really good. It's going to be security testing. Uh, I think FOX will have a hard time uh, icing up all the central servers to deny that, that first security testing. This is going to yeah. be really great. And we'll see the opposite of last match, where mm. there was a poor. Where that security testing basic never fired. Yeah. Poor I don't guy. think it ever fired. Man, what a what a what a what a poor jackass that was. Uh, was playing there. <laughs> Maybe perhaps one of the most famous netrunners in all the lands. Oh yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Man, f man, I caught a big one here. I'm gonna pull it. <laughs> <laughs> Old man and the sea. Oh man. 
that jiggle though. <laughs> uh, we see an install in a remote server by um, FOX. Why not? His ability as, uh, as any age, when he installs a new server, creates a new server, he draws a card. So this is basically installing, but also drawing a card at the same time. Uh, and so now, yes, we're gonna there see a security testing next turn. So yeah, I think FOX is struggling with the ice. Ooh, getting an ice in front of that. Huh. Huh. We see those players playing very slowly in those first turns they, because they can be decisive. We have to assume that um, the idea of FOX is going to be fast advanced, that's usually the case with any age. Although uh, something like Butcher Shop is also has become popular in this mm -hmm. tournament. Ooh, double icing that remote. We have to Ooh. assume that this is going to be maybe the... Maybe the... This um, is the most incredible bait I have ever seen. Yeah. I bet you that's a Jackson that's sitting in there. Okay, and he's ice. all like, yeah, he's like, come on, man, waste all your money coming through this server. Pop-up window. Just kidding. <laughs> Double pop-up window. Oh, God. <laughs> and then he inside jobs into it. like. <laughs> or somehow, yeah, it's double pop. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> uh, secure testing on the archives. Uh, Frederick is thinking hard about this. I have always hoped that your proof of purchase uh, use would make a uh, would become part of the meta. We just have to keep doing it. I mean, we, trash trash a dash has become trash that ash has has. Uh, I think it says caught on. Yeah, you need to make a uh, mat because you know you're not busy. Yeah, you need to make a, an ash mat and also a vuja day mat. Vuja day play mat. We heard your we heard you guys. The next that's the next one on the on the list. <laughs> I will buy many of those. <laughs> Man, so much thinking. Look at this. There's a lot of brain power going on here. I mean, that's a, that's a super bold move by FOX. Unheard of. Like, what happens if, if Ferry can account siphon? Yeah. But he has I mean, an account siphon on hand. Maybe that's just what he drew. You know, like... Well, I guess this is all I can do. I think the idea of FOX gives him like so many like delicious targets, and Frederick can kind of has to think what to do. I mean, he can secure a test, he can check R and D, he can uh, account siphon, he can try to uh, ping that server. There's just so much. Well, you know, Final Fantasy operating experience is the kind of guy that kind of just takes his pants and his underwear off. He just drops trout, and he's like, "This is what's happening now," and squeezes out a Cleveland steamer on your chest. Yeah, you're like, "What are you gonna do?" What can you do? And you're like, I guess I'm running out of R&D. Shit. Man, this 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 uh, cast just got so family unfriendly. <laughs> hey, it was in Team America. It's all right. No, that, that was... Uh, um, the, um, in, no, not initial D. <laughs> tenacious D. Oh, that's true. The different D. Uh, all right, <laughs> uh, we see... Uh, that's interesting. Uh, that's a very interesting choice by Frederick. Masanori? Uh, that's John Masanori, yeah. <laughs> John Masanori drifts into view. Oh, he's drifting into the drift dimension. Uh, wow. I'm sorry. Your initial D is... Uh, Sending yeah, me on I know. A journey. Yeah, there's just there, we we are off to the to the races here on this one. Um, all right, so Frederick, uh, uh, the second one is I think a run somewhere because Frederick is kind of unpacking his credits. Now he's not only organized his credits, but he's also organized the credit pile. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, all right, that was a run on uh, just a normal run on, on HQ. Why did he install the Mons Nori before he ran on HQ? This is crazy. I, yeah, there's a lot of things that are going on here. I, is he thrown off because he's just not? Oh. This is so un. This is so weird. <laughs> I mean, this is the honey badger table. Yeah, it is. And uh, he gets an exit from HQ. <laughs> oh, no. he's got enough. Take are it. you serious? Take it! He's not taking it! Oh, you... Or he's you, thinking about this. Oh, just do it. Do it! <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday you said tomorrow! <laughs> <laughs> Turn your dreams into reality, Kefalofoda. Yes. <laughs> and he does. He does. You only need seven of those points there, man. There's two of them. A last click, though. Last click. And then he security tests. Nice. No account siphons. Oh, very nice. So third was security test. No, no, it wasn't. It's just account siphon. 
And now he doesn't have the money to break it, uh, but he so he will take the net damage, I think. Oh no, wait a minute, security tests, gets a credit, and then account siphons. Nice. But he's gonna have tag? Uh, he does have tags indeed, yeah. So he's gonna lose that John Mazzanari and security testing possibly. But if you assume that that, uh, that FOX has a, um, a like an agenda out there... Oh, that's true. Then we have to assume that he will also just get credits this turn. Then that's what he does. Hmm. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Frederick is in a good spot. He has the monies. Where is the tag? Did they not mark it? Oh, Ide it, it's on, on identity. ID, yeah. Hmm. Man, this is a very slow and deliberate game. I think there's this is going to go quick. This this falls into my uh, my political agenda. Criminals are slow. Uh, uh, yeah, but this is like turn number like three or so. Yeah. Oh, four. I know. You could say that they are perhaps five, five. It's criminally five. slow. <laughs> All right, we see an install of the Corroda. I wonder why. This is just such an enigma. And then he pings that server. I think the outro is going to be a pop up window. I don't think he's going to do anything. I think he's going to let him through. Because I don't think that's an agenda. I think that's Jackson. <laughs> that would be so hilarious. Such a such a great red herrings, or red herrings. Oh, it could be red herrings. Why no, not? No, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> false gonna... flag, false flag operation. <laughs> he's gonna pick it up, and it's gonna be a hedge fund, and then they're gonna be like, "Wait, what? what? Why is that?" <laughs> and then suddenly the, the oh, room starts spinning, and you're in drift dimension. All right, so this is indeed the pop-up window. That's going to be really great for FOX. Yes. And really bad for Kepalofoda. Kepalo, Kepalofoda. I think he has to still lose a credit. He hasn't moved yet. He's taking in the reality <laughs> of the situation that he just popped He's up with. He's soaking in the non-alt art pop-up window. Yeah, I think that was an inside job protection in pop-up window. That's a very nice placement. Yeah. And I think we're going to see a yeah, yeah, second yeah, pop-up window. Right. Called it! Oh, yes. you called it. <laughs> it's like you were there watching. <laughs> I have. I was too. I was too. Uh, I you know busy to get. A, I, I actually went out and 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 you know had a had a small break. I think I was uh, you know after after playing those games, I was very stressed. Oh, what? what? Oh man! What? Fred, this oh, just Fred happened. has totally thrown NEH off balance completely. <laughs> that, so that was just an amazing bluff by FFOX. Incredible. Oh man. Incredible bluff. I don't know if he'll be able to come back from this. I think Fred's got the... Uh... It's looking very good for Frederick with four points and <laughs> with all those open servers. I think, like, the problem was FFX just didn't drew any... Oh, man, there's a beer! <laughs> oh, what? God. This game just unravels. Yeah, Fred's got the touch. Fred's got the power. You got the touch. Dun, dun. Yeah! Oh, when all is said and done. I mean, I have to really, really learn the lyrics of that song. That's a that's a song that really inspired me in my youth. All right, anyway, we see a hedge fund here, icing up the HQs, really uh, recovering a bit, but still. Oh, 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 yeah, oh another install. finally. Yeah, that's good. I was like, that's man, good. He's lost, he just lost a whole bunch of points. He lost points from the. Yeah, Come but on. now FOX is. Oh, man. Like, if there's, an, if there's an ID that can recover from this, it's going to be. Um, it's going to be uh, NEH. Although we have to say, like we also had RP, like doing a miraculous recovery recovery in a finale yeah. in Osnabrück. So yeah, everything is possible. We could say right now that the Final Fantasy operating experience is the beginning of Final Fantasy 13, and people are kind of like, no, I don't like Final Fantasy anymore. We'll see if he can come out with Final Fantasy X2, 13-2, I still, I still and like, recover. I, I still like FOX. I I do too. I. Uh, uh, which Typha again? <laughs> what Typha again? <laughs> so we see a fairy and a cloak. So this is going to be a stealth Andy. Interesting to see stealth coming out so late. But I guess you know this. I think it's a mistake that a lot of stealth Andy players make, where they just sh turn out all those stealth cards, even though they don't need them yet. Um, so this is nice. All right, so we see a score of the of the. <laughs> Uh, Wait a minute. Breaking news. 
He took four actions there. <laughs> Did he? He drew, he mandatory drawed, he installed breaking news, he drew yeah. another card, yeah. and then played two. He installed breaking news, uh, uh, through the installation of breaking news, he draws a card through this ability. Oh, oh, I forgot it was Nah. And so we see the um, decoder here, the refractor. So he's be able to break bla all of the things. And Ooh. of course, this is perfect now because that is a quandary on R&D and it won't stop him. Won't stop the, the, the Frederick. Can't stop the Frederick. Man, here for, it's just looking so incredibly strong right now. Those mollusks are getting everywhere. <laughs> That's what they do. We're going to start calling them Freddy Eight Fingers. <laughs> and that is the Desperado completing completing mm. the, the, the rig here. There's really very little that Frederick needs to, uh, to bring this game home. Freddy Eight Fingers, Desperado, Rough Rider. Um, meanwhile, FOX is really struggling with this one, uh, struggling with keeping him out. There is going to be one access on R&D every turn. Uh, Needs to do something about this R&D access, bro. Yeah, maybe get an ice that costs more than one. Installing a card in the remote server, doing a draw because of this. Drawing past the R&D lock. <laughs> that is the Jackson drawing more. Ooh. We need solutions for this problem. <laughs> He can't get me if I have all the agendas in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> he can't get to this agenda when it's behind two pop-up windows. <laughs> he won't even try. He won't dare. Uh, little does he know, Fred has adblock turned on. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not that he blocked those pop-up windows. He just, <laughs> he just clicked through them. No, that's what you do. You got to pay money to adblock in the future. For every ad it blocks, oh, you have man. to pay a dollar. I hope there's going to be like an ad block program where it's like, just ignore the effects <laughs> on our ad advertisement <laughs> cards. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we see the security testing on archives because it's still unprotected. And then yet another cloak uh, filling up the MUs of Frederick, but giving him two recurring credits every turn to play, pay for icebreakers, uh, two stealth credits even. So this is really good for Frederick. Uh, even better now. Things are improving by the second. There oh! is a architect. The only problem that is actually have uh, that Frederick has now with our sentries. Um, so the architect is doing a good job here. Arriving at the pub. What would you do with the pub? Yep, yep. Let's go to the pub. Yep, yep. What does the Frederick do? Does the Fred do? Yip, 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 yip. <laughs> that may be the highlight of my life. <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh man, I just realized what's happening. Frederick just called got called. Got called? Yeah, he got a cell phone call. Uh... Mid run. All right. So they were mid-run. Did he pay the two credits to get what, through? Wait a minute. I think, I think what's he, going on? Did they forget he, that that was happening? No, he jacked out and got attacked because of the John Masnori and nothing else. What? And then trashing the Jackson. Why? Why would you not just go through? I don't. Maybe Frederick learned from his last finale, where it's like he. He uh, went went through a, like a big century multiple times and got like all his all his shit trashed, mm. and, and he wasn't able to recover from this so so well anymore. So yeah, we see. Oh, nice. Speaking of recovery, Fox gets out the sweep sweep, gets up the monies, installs something in the remote server in the in the pop uh, pop up window protected server. This is really great because it's going to be like a four credit swing if uh, if uh, Frederick wants to check it. Yeah. Wants to just see what it is. Yeah. It's kind I'm of like rooting a for FFLX. I, that's who I want to win. Yeah, this game. I mean you always root for the for the guy who's fighting uphill battle, right? Yeah. You got it. Well, he's also the Final Fantasy operating experience and I love Final Fantasy. Yeah, you are a big Final Fantasy buff. I know that. Final Fantasy and Star Wars, that's my thing. Right Do you know there. how to rescue Eris? You don't. She is the embodiment of tragedy in video games. But I, but I heard that if you do the right thing in Golden yeah. Saucer, if you just pick the right If you leave the game on for exactly 720 hours and 14 uh, minutes, 
yeah. at the 33 second mark and you turn off the game, when you turn the game on, you will have caused a buffer to overload and Eris will be in your party. There is a run on um, the R&Ds. There Ooh, is a Switchblade rip, 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 being installed. So this is really great. The Switchblade really is really like the final piece here. It he yeah. allows him to get through the sentries that he had at this point. You know, he had like the ferry, but it was a one-off breaker. Now the Switchblade allows him to break multiple things. But the wraparound is mostly useless. It is useless. It is in fact useless. It's down to a strength one now because uh, there is a Corroda installed. Um, but you know, FOX has to do what, what he can. He's uh, he's not really prepared for a long game. That's not what his deck is good for. Yeah. Oh man, he gets out the Astro script. Yes. Oh dang! Could this Frederick be the greatest recovery in the history of man? Using the uh, stripper from Sansan to even save some money. Uh, it is a great recovery here. Um, smart installed on server too like it's very you know it doesn't seem like you would use it to score something yeah but on the other hand like just to check those things is so expensive yeah so you're left thinking ah, it's going to be like some kind of asset so it's kind of like a very cool server to bluff in. it's the joy of pop-up window yeah it's just the <laughs> most it's the cheapest and yet the most uh, t most taxing most annoying nice yeah, I've been stopped by a pop-up window so many times in my, in my past before. <laughs> where it's like I just don't Wait want to run. Oh. Uh. But he can use the recurring credits to get through those. Yeah. Uh, so he runs on um, the Frederick runs on the, the R&Ds. Fred seems distracted this game. Is it me? And no, no, no. Fred is always like this. This is uh. this is his mo. And we see the Ghost Runner credits, really good, really nice stealth credits that you can use. And abuse. Uh, not not letting himself be stressed out by uh, FOX's recovery here. He just plays a steady game, gets sees a card every turn, drives his baby home. Not like me. <laughs> you don't drive her home. Make her walk. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of look at look at uh, FOX uh, ex exercising his thighs here. <laughs> Pumping. Is somebody else. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. That's that's always good for for the prostata. And then installing a card in the server again. Will this be another cheeky score? Will this be another cheeky score? I think that, oh, really? I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah. I just don't know anymore. I, I don't know. All this weed. <laughs> Girl, all this weed. Let's go out and smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's just, I mean, Frederick, come on. Like, low hanging fruit. Let's get this card draw with John Masnori and uh, the three credits from, from archives. Still not protected the archives. And then you can check out this the scoring server with the recurring credits. Probably uh, something like Sensen in there. That's going to be annoying to trash. <laughs> yeah, there's. Yeah, it seemed like FOX was was not doing well, but eh, there is still ways he can he can pull this out. You think so? Yeah, running on R and D. Nothing. I mean, he just has to find the third Astro. Yeah. I mean, it, can well, he not... Very complicated run on AHQ. Why isn't he... Spending the all the credits from Ghost Run and all that stuff? Seeing uh, just a shipment from Sansan. Does check out that server. Yeah, he's got it. And that is... Wow, he tried oh, it again! Oh, he tried man. it again! Oh, man! Oh, yeah, but Frederick didn't fail for this one. Oh. So we Good job, sweet. Fred. I'm sorry, FF. But imagine if Frederick hadn't run that server. If he was like, nah, this can't be... A, this, this is going to be a Sansan or something at the end. And then uh, if FOX had scored this agenda, things would have been so much differently. 
And he ends the game with three tags, having never been punished for them at all. Yeah, FFX never had the economy to uh, to use uh, use, yeah. uh, use this astonishing move. And of course, we also have to as, um, consider like FFX is actually somebody who will exploit it readily, like who will spend his last credit to trash. Uh, Cutty Jones. Yeah. So the fact that he didn't do it meant that he was had like str was struggling in a very very different kind of way. He was struggling in a good way. I don't. Do we see any economy cards from him? Uh, yes, we saw the um. Uh, nah. What, what is Sweet Speak? Oh yeah, Sweet Speak. Yeah. yeah. So he, he did some economy cards, but of course not the kind of economy that he expected or warned or wanted. Mm. <sighs> Nick, Nick. A poor NEH is a sad NEH. Indeed, and, ge and generally every runner or, the, or um, mm, a corporation is a, it's not good at being poor. Although NEH is the one, one identity that is, suffers the least from that. That's because they, uh, with the deck that, he, uh, that FOX was using here, he had to like ship from Sansan. So he, he was always able to score an agenda even without any credits. Hmm. It's uh, just uh, that, you know, things didn't turn out the way he wanted. All right, guys, we're going to move over to the finale of the Honey Badger bracket Ooh, yeah. of this uh, regionals, and I hope you will join us on our next video. Wherein we are, and always will, and have, and will do again. We'll be hacking the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Shut up and get in the car! Shit on me. This episode of Netrun on Timor Cast was created with a generous support from our listeners. If you enjoy the show and you can't get enough Netrunner videos, please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash hacktheplanet.